Hello everyone and welcome to another video. A track guide for the Ray FF1600 going around Jerez, the motor layout. This is the open setup and I'm on iRacing's own Jerez setup, which you can find in the garage and iRacing setups. But let's get into it. For turn one, you want to be all the way on the left. I place my car so I have the two right tires on the white line. My braking marker is when I get to this A on the left. Then I go to a peak brake pressure of about 80% and I turn the brake all the way to the apex. I apex at around the middle of the corner. You can brake harder here than you think because we go uphill. Once I get to the curb on the inside, I go full throttle again. We do have a lot of space on the outside so we can get nice and early on the throttle and you can of course use all of the curb out here. For turn two, I use the bridge just over me as my braking marker. Once I get close to that, I'll start to brake. I hit it really hard and I trail the brake all the way to the curb. Your apex just after the corner, I do that to straighten the exit a bit. Once I get to the apex, I'll start to go on the throttle, but not full throttle in the beginning. I'll kinda ease into it, but it shouldn't take too long because you want to get nice and early on the throttle. You can use all of the astroturf out here on the left, and now we just keep the throttle down for quite a long time. Turn 4 is actually flat out. Go out here to open up the corner. Lap 1 might be a little sketchy though, and you can use a lot of the curb here on the outside as well. For turn 5, you want to have the right side of tires just around the white line. My braking marker is this emergency road here on the right, the bright blue one. It's a quick dab of the brake to about 50% and a little bit of trail braking, but not a lot. I'm off the brake before I even get to the curb. Then I let the car roll in. Once I get to the curb, I'll start to apply some throttle. I get to the curb around the middle of the corner. You want to get as early as you can on the throttle, and you want to do that to be able to have the highest exit speed you can, because we're going on to a really long straight, and you can use a bit of the curb here on the outside. Turn 7 is going to be our hardest braking zone on the track, so that's a good overtaking place. Again, I place the car so I have the right side tires on the white line, and my braking marker is this 100 meter board here. I peak at around 85% brake pressure, and I keep that amount of brake pressure for quite a long time, before trailing the brake all the way to the curb. I go for a later apex on this one. I apex around the later third of the corner. Once I get to that apex point, I will start to apply the throttle again. It's important to get early on the throttle here again, because the next part is flat out. I ease onto the throttle as you can see, so I don't get wheel spin out of the corner. And of course I use all of the curb on the outside here as well. Turn 7 is actually just flat out. I take a little bit of the curb on the inside. Then I place the car all the way out on the curb here. I do brake a little bit for turn 8. I do it just before the tire wall on the left disappears. It's a quick tap to about 40% and I'm quickly off the brake again. Then I let the car just roll into the corner. My apex is in the beginning of the corner, just about where the curb starts. Once I get to that, I'll start to go on the throttle again. I cut the curb quite a lot and we do have a lot of exit room here on the right, but you quickly want to get the car over to the left again. For turn 9, I place the nose just in the middle of the rumble curb and my braking marker is this drawing here on the left, just besides the tire wall. I brake to a peak pressure of about 70% and then I throw the brake all the way to the curb. I apex this just around the middle of the corner. Once I get to the corner, I will go full throttle and then I will walk the car out to the curb on the outside. You want to do that to open up turn 10. You want to apex turn 10 just in the middle of the corner. Just after I turn in, I go a little bit off the throttle for a short while, but as soon as I get to the curb, I'll go full throttle and use all of the curb here on the outside as well. Turn 11 is also full throttle. My turn in point is when this little blue paint here on the right stops. I apex just around the middle of the corner and I take a lot of the curb. And of course you want to stay full throttle. This can be tricky, but it can be done. Use the curb here on the outside. Don't take too much, there's a harsh off track. You should be able to hold full throttle through 12 as well. And I use a little bit of the curb on the outside on turn 12 as well. Now for the last corner, get the car over to the right. For turn 13, my braking marker is the pit entry. Once that gets close to the edge of my screen, I brake hard. And I mean really hard. But in this one, I was a little bit early. While I'm braking, I'm letting the car walk out so I have the left side tires on the white line. My braking pressure is 95% and I trail the brake all the way to the apex. I apex just after the middle of the corner. Once I get to the curb, I will start to go on the throttle again. There's a bit of astroturf on the outside where we don't get a 1x. That makes it easier to get on the throttle earlier. And of course you want to use that. And now it's just a drag race down to the line. Really fun layout. It's really quick. I really enjoyed it. And hopefully you enjoyed this track guide and that it helped you. If it did, leave a like down below. Consider subscribing as well. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed. And now for the uninterrupted hot laps.